Here's what you need to know to set up your creator profile to be like your own mini website with Kit. So let's hop into Kit and look at exactly where this creator profile is and how you can set it up. First, go to Grow and Creator Profile. Here in the Creator Profile, there's a lot of different options. As you can see here, there's posts, links, products, and recommendations on this particular creator profile. And you can make changes to all of these things on the right side. Again, this is a click and create style editor. Same thing we saw with landing pages and forms. Anywhere you click, you can make changes to the design. And on the right side, you have a lot of options for designs and templates. We can browse the templates here and change to any of these other templates that we want to. We can also change the colors at any time and the fonts. We can also change exactly what these pages are that are showing. So if I click one of these, you'll see on the right side, it says show links. And we can see each of these link options. Now that I'm in the links page, we can change any of these if we want to. We can also go to product and just decide which of our products are shown here in this product section. We can also reorder the navigation by going back and going to navigation menu. Here, you could reorder the navigation items and you can also add external links. If I click here, I can add something like my homepage and I'll just put example URL here. Once I save, you'll see that's been added to the menu and clicking here will link out to your homepage. You also notice the creator profile has a signup form. If we go back to the customize menu, you can see here there's an option for sign up form. Here we have options for the confirmation email, just like a form or landing page. You can also determine what happens when somebody clicks the button in this confirmation email. Are they sent to a different page using the URL or can they download an incentive that you include? Going back to the customize menu, we could take a look at the pages we're including on this creator profile. We have newsletter posts, products, recommendations, links, and you can even include custom pages. Let's look at newsletter posts first. If we click here, you can see exactly what shown in your posts section. Do you put the newest post first? Do you put a selected post first? You can also choose visibility. This could be available to anyone or it could be available only to subscribers. There's also a shortcut here to select broadcast that you want to display publicly if you didn't initially choose them to be shown publicly on the creator profile. And you have a handy shortcut here to write a new post if you wanna add something here to your creator profile. Heading back out to the customized menu, let's take a look at products specifically. This is a list that lets you choose the products you want to show on the products page. It's a simple checklist. Under recommendations, you can choose who you're recommending. We'll get into recommendations really soon, but this lets you show recommendations on this page. You can also look at the links that you're sharing. You can even reorder these by dragging them and you can change the color of these sections as well to match the style of your creator profile. Under custom pages, you can also include other pages that you'd like to add. You have a lot of flexibility with these pages. Let's add a new page real quick and we'll just call this about. Now on this about page, as you can see, we get a blank page. We can put any content we want to here. We can include images and other things here. I won't go creating the entire about page in this video, but I wanted to show that you can create these custom pages and put any information you want to here. Finally, let's talk about the domain name and SEO. In domain name, you can choose a domain that you want to use, and you can set up a custom domain in the settings as well if you don't want to use the domain that we give you. You can see here that Charlie has set up pages.charliemarie.com, and that is the page she's using, but we also have charlie.kit.com. That can also be the page she's using, so she can choose between the free kit.com address or a custom domain. Finally, let's take a look at SEO. If you click SEO, you'll see an option to add a title, description, and a social share image. The share image you see here is one that's auto-generated, so you always have a share image included with your creator profile, but you can change it out for your own custom image at any time. Earlier, I mentioned recommendations. Let's go to the recommendations page again. And if I scroll down, you'll see these are creators that are being recommended by Charlie in this case. They have checkboxes next to them. And if you were to subscribe here, you're not only subscribing to Charlie's newsletter, but you're also subscribing to these three creators. So now that you've got your creator profile set up, this is actually the page others will see if they wanna start recommending you to their subscribers. And you can learn all about recommendations right here in our full deep dive kit tutorial. The tutorial you just watched is actually part of that full tutorial. So when you head over there, use the timestamps in the description to find the section on recommendations. I'll see you over there.